and Merry Christmas. Welcome to my channel. So today I've got my what I got for Christmas video for you. I have done these I think for the past six years. Now I was really unsure whether it was the right thing to do today. So I decided to ask. I popped it on my Instagram story and the overall consensus after the 98% poll that said yes was just we've kind of missed enough this year. So you know we'd, we'd still like to see it. So please don't let us miss out on something else when it's kind of not necessary. And I was like, well, okay, it's good for me. I love a good tradition and we're gonna keep it up. So today I've got my what I got for Christmas video. If you are new here, hey, my name's Emily. This is something I do every year, like I said, and my sister and I also do a present swap video every year. That's going up tomorrow on Boxing Day. There'll be one on this channel and one on my vlog channel. So if you want something to watch in the meantime, then my Vlogmas video will be up on my vlog channel. I'll link that, but yeah let's get into my what I got for Christmas video. Now, I don't know about you guys, but my Christmases look kind of different this year. Yeah, it's just overall been very strange. I think Christmas for us in like, as like our family, we're very big on tradition. So we would never really change anything, but this year we've been kind of forced to change. And yeah, it's been very odd and I'm kind of liking it so far. I'm kind of liking like the serenity of it and how chill it is. And like normally we'd be expecting people to come over any moment and there's no one coming. And it's like, oh, it's kind of nice. But yeah, definitely different. So as every year, the first thing that I am going to show you is what I got in my stocking. Let me know down below. Do you have a stocking? What do you do? Like our thing in the morning, the first thing we always open are our stockings. This is mine. The first thing that I pulled out were like a, a pair of things. So I got a tea strainer and a packet of Norfolk breakfast tea. English breakfast tea is my favorite tea. And I love loose leaf tea, but I don't have a, like, a strainer to use. I had one of the weird ones that you kind of push to open and close or whatever but it broke so my mom got me this and I got the tea to go with it and then I got some exfoliating gloves I use these in the shower every single time I shower I you know scrub my fake tan off with them they're also just really good you know people do that whole like body brushing thing I feel like you get the same thing with those oh this was something that I've mentioned to my mom a while back and she was like I don't get it and then I opened it in my stocking and I was like no way it's one of those electric candle lighters and I I saw this on TikTok. And basically what you do is you turn it on and it lights, can you see, it lights your candle and it's reusable, you just charge it back up. So I'll be able to keep this forever. And there's also an LED light on it. So if you're like, you know, trying to light something and you can't see it, I just think this is the most incredible idea and I'm so happy that I have one. This is just one of those things that you keep in like your stuff drawer, isn't it? Like, you know that drawer in the kitchen where there's just so much in it. <laughs> I got some nail files. These seem to be something that I run out of all the time, but also always seem to need. So I'm very grateful for these. A mini sharpener. This is the benefit one. I used to have two of these. They seem to disappear and then my lip line is always blunt and I'm always like, where's a sharpener? I don't have a sharpener. So mum's like, I've just got you one of the ones that's disappeared. And then if you find it, it's fine, but you haven't found it in six months. So here's a new one. These are really cool. They have two holes in it. So you can do like larger kind of like lip crayons or the small, just kind of normal lip liners. And it's very, very handy. Next up, I got some gingerbread syrup. This is what I guess you could put in like hot chocolate, coffee. I love to have it in my coffee. This is what I've got in my coffee today. I just opened it and put the tiniest bits in and it's really yummy. This is a limited edition one apparently, but I know they do this in Sainsbury's. I'm not sure about Asda or Tesco, maybe Tesco. I don't know, but this was definitely in Sainsbury's and it's so good. And then we have, oh, some Femme Fresh. This is a joke between my mom and I. So we went uh, like, stocking filler shopping for my older sister and my mum picked up some simple wipes and she was like is this too boring I was like no absolutely not you like we love things that we're actually going to use and I always talk about this whenever I fly anywhere I take Femme Fresh wipes and it's just something that like, I have a whole like flight routine before I get off the flight and this is something that's part of my routine and my mum put them in my stocking as a little symbol of like hopefully you'll be flying again soon but also they're just very handy they're great I highly recommend those and then I got some green and blacks velvet edition dark chocolate with sea salt I love dark chocolate and any dark chocolate with sea salt is so good and then we have a mini bottle of champagne i'm not like a very big drinker at all but if i have something to celebrate then you know i'll have a glass of champagne and we have although it's been a weird year and like a hard year there's definitely been some like big life milestones this year and i guess this is just a way to celebrate if i wanted to and the final thing in my stocking is some of my favorite chocolate magic stars i don't know if i have a very like random 
favourite chocolates. So I love Magic Stars. I will love these literally until the day I die. And I also love Maltesers. I got these Maltesers truffles. I love these. I love the Maltesers teasers that I have right here. I got these from B&M the other day and they are so good. I love the Maltesers bunnies and my mum tried to get me some Maltesers reindeers for Christmas, she told me, but she couldn't find them anywhere. These are what, in the first lockdown, the Maltesers bunnies, I lived off them. They are so good, fresh out of the fridge, Oh my gosh. So the first present I opened, and if you watched my Christmas Day vlog, or if you're watching this on Christmas Day, it'll be up tomorrow. Uh, I actually showed myself opening this on camera. So this is a salt pig, and it is Pink Le Creuset. So if you like know anything about me, if you're not new to my channel, you'll know that I collect Pink Le Creuset, and it's something that I've collected since I was about 15. This is something I don't have, and my mom actually bought herself a salt pig earlier in the year, and I said to her, I was like, that's epic. Like, I would love one of those one day, like, you know, when I move out. And she bought me one for Christmas, so this is gonna be package back up and pop back into storage for the day that I have my own kitchen again but it's very gorgeous and you know I, I love gifts that kind of add to like collections that you have or things that yeah I don't know it just feels really special it's like oh my mum knows that's what I love and she like listened to me when I mentioned it everything's super random by the way like even my main present is so freaking random so I got some bamboo steamers and some liners for them I've been making like dim sum and custard buns a lot recently and I've been using mum's massive like vegetable steamer and it's it's like the same thing but also you know not quite the same so she bought me that so i can do it properly and you bet tomorrow i'm gonna be making my custard buns they are so freaking good so yeah again another present that it's just so thoughtful. So I also got some cut measurements. Again, this is something that I vlogged myself opening and I was like, what is this? Like, what is it? But yeah, mum got me some cut measurements. She was like, yeah, for when you have your own kitchen again one day, it's definitely something that you're going to use. So I thought it was really thoughtful. And there's also some like teaspoon measurements and like, you know, just a pinch and a tablespoon and all things like that. I will honestly use these so often. And again, these gifts are things that you're gonna like have forever. My mum's like tablespoon and like you know quarter teaspoon whatever measurements that she has she's literally has since she turned 17 so yeah they, these are things that are like gonna live in my kitchen for the rest of my life it's so exciting so i got a couple books from my little sister and the first one that she got me is disney quotes to live your life by which i thought was so gorgeous i love disney i feel like that's something that you know I talk about quite a bit, but maybe not so much this year. So yeah, just random kind of quotes just to make you smile. Beauty is found within. Sometimes our strengths lie beneath the surface from Moana. You know, I feel like Disney is very inspirational and this is something that, you know, if I'm not quite feeling myself, I'll be able to have a little look through. I'm just gonna show you what gift Cody's got. Cody, come here! Because he wants to leave the room, but I want to show you what he's got. So from my mum, Cody, well, it was for me and for Cody, got a new barber jacket. He had one of these when he was younger. He loved it, but he grew out of it because he was a very small puppy, like very small. So he's got a medium one now instead of a small one. Do you like it? He's had it on for about two hours and he, he loves it. Cody loves being like wrapped in things and like under things. He's a real kind of like den dog. Like he would love to be like under the coffee table or if he was like i don't know in a bed he's not allowed in beds if he was he'd be like under the covers so he just yeah he loves feeling things on him and being wrapped up so he got this gorgeous green barber jacket and it fits you perfectly doesn't it go on then actually sophie's gonna let you out okay. thanks sophie and then the other book that Sophie got me was called The Perfect Couple or The Perfect Lie. And it actually sounds like a really good book. I've read the blurb, but she told me she bought me this for another reason and she didn't actually read the blurb. So yeah, this was her trying to be funny, but it actually looked like a really cool book. Also from my little sister, I got a candle. This is the Sugared Plum Scented Candle. It's very sweet, but I love the, it smells really good. But I love the color of the pot and I love the fact that it's gold on top. My mum also bought me a massive bottle of ketchup and wrapped it up. If you don't know me, I love ketchup. I <laughs> eat too much ketchup. And this is probably where all of my sugar intake comes from. I mean, maybe I'm the gingerbread syrup now. But yeah, mum bought me this and she thinks she's funny. And it kind of is funny to be fair. I got a vegetable spiralizer. This is Joseph and Joseph. Again, I love to make like vegetable replacement kind of like pastas or whatever. I'd make like courgette, courgette. 
Uh, but we don't have a spiralizer, so mum was like, well, I've got your spiralizer now, you can do that. <laughs> Which is it's so thoughtful, isn't it? This actually looks really, really cool. And there's a coarse blade, a fine blade, a grating blade. Oh, I'm such a bad grater, that's gonna make my life so easy. I love Joseph Joseph, and yeah, this just looks really cool. So I got a quarterly set, we love a good beauty set at Christmas, I love quarterly. I've got a foaming cleanser, I love this, I've used this before. A mask, again, I've used this before and I love it. And this is one of their facial spray the beauty elixir and yeah i love cordial as a brand i love all of their products and especially these three i really do like so i wonder what their facial elixir is going to smell like i had a limited edition one before and i loved how it smelled so i don't know if i've actually smelled the original one but i guess i can now i also got a pack of face halos i love these i use these every single day i have one in my shower and i have one like on the sink where i get you know like take my makeup off and things. They are so handy, they are so reusable, and I'm very happy to have stocked up on these. I love it when people get me gifts that, you know, I use and love, but also kind of don't want to buy myself anymore because it's like, I have one, but I could do with a new one, but don't really want to buy it, so. That was very thoughtful. So my big sister got me a course called Cup. This is a mug version. I have a normal kind of like just tumbler version from them and it's marble. It was their Kith collaboration. And I actually do have a, like the mug version of the Kith one in marble, but it's in LA. I don't have it right now, but this is like a full on mug and it's in the pink. So the idea is this will keep your coffee or your tea hot for as long as you want to keep it hot for. And this is gonna be something that I'm gonna use all the time. Yeah, so it says three hours hot, triple insulated stainless steel, non-slip bottom, dishwasher safe mug, and it's 475 ml. So in my head, I'm envisioning that I'm gonna like walk my dog with this and have my coffee in it or like my tea. Or when I've got a long drive, I can take like a coffee or a tea with me. I just love these things and I take so long to drink my teas or my coffees that they go cold so maybe even when I'm just at home I'll be using this <laughs> again such a me present it's so crazy when people just like they just I mean I know she's my big sister and she's known me literally since I was born but you know she listens she hears me and that's that's so you know comforting from my neighbor I got this lovely candle this is the remedy extracts of nature focus candle this reminds me so much of the Bath and Body Works stress relief candle. It even kind of looks like it on the label. My mum's really on it today with the whole kind of kitchenware that I use in her kitchen that I don't own that she's picked up on the fact that I like. So I was making, what was it? I was making something the other week that I needed a thermometer for, a kitchen thermometer, and she has one. I don't have one and I used it and I was like, mum, this is fabulous. And she's she's bought me one for christmas so again this is going to go away into storage this next thing is something that i actually put on my christmas list a long long time ago i kind of plan my christmas list throughout the year if there's ever any bits that i'm like oh i shouldn't buy myself that but i really want it i'll just pop it on my notes and this was maybe four months ago three months ago and i kind of popped it on my list and i was like no this is gonna sell out so i texted my mom and i was like hey just letting you know that this is on my christmas list but i don't know if it'll still be there in december but i'd really like them but i also you know i'm not gonna buy them for myself and look what was under the tree so I love The Simpsons, if you don't know this about me. I adore The Simpsons. I always have for the longest time. When I went to Universal a couple years ago, I was just like blown away by The Simpsons area. It was brilliant. And I also love vans. And there's a certain style of van that I used to collect and I have loved for years. And they brought out a Simpsons van collection and had this particular style in. And you know, sometimes they do that and it's a bit like, oh, like they're not very nice, but no. These are literally everything I would want in a slip-on van. And you're looking at me wearing a beautiful black and other stories dress and I'm all like done up. Well, this is my other personality. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got these Simpsons slip-on vans and they have all of the Simpsons characters on, like Bart's pulling this really funny face and then it's just absolutely perfect. I love these, they're really light by the way. I don't know why they're so light. This is my dream shoe. Like, obviously, not like dream dream shoe, but if I could make these, I would so make them. And I saw them and I just knew that I had to have them. And the fact that they've been given to me as a gift makes it even more special. I'm gonna wear these all the time with, in the summer with like shorts and an oversized tee. Yeah, I got these in a five and a half and you bet you're gonna be seeing me wear these so often in the summer. I'm so happy with those. <laughs> I'm so happy. It's like one of my favorite presents. I got a couple more books. So my mum bought me this Lunar Living book. So it says working with the magic of the moon cycles. So I as a person, I'm very affected by the moon cycle. It's something that we figured out when I was maybe about seven years old. So whenever it came up to like a full moon, I would be really stressed out and really like, 
like you know like pms before you get your period that's what it would be like for me but i was seven and it was like i was sunk with the moon cycles and there was a good few years where my periods were sunk with the moon every full moon i would get a period like i wasn't you know i didn't have a normal like menstrual cycle it literally matched the moon so freaking weird yeah too many things like i could do a whole video on it but i've never actually looked into it and researched why i feel those things or why that happens i just know it happens yeah i don't know this makes me kind of emotional but also it's a very beautiful book and but yeah i definitely want to learn more about the moon and the moon cycles and why i feel the way i feel and then the other book that i got was even man 2 by tom and g fletcher so i got even man 1 when it first came out i'm pretty sure i was on the press list for it i don't remember anyway i really enjoyed it as in it left me at such a cliffhanger that i was like i need number two now and then it got released and i had other books that i needed to finish first so i was like okay i can't get it yet so i popped up my christmas list and my mom got it for me i can't wait to read this in a day i'm i'm gonna take a day between christmas and new year and just sit and read this i'm so excited to see what happens if you've not read the first one i highly 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 recommend it so basically Tom and G are husband and wife and they write pretty much like a chapter each sort of thing. So the book is from the perspective of two different people and I guess Tom writes for one and G for the other. I mean, I can't be sure, but I feel like that's how it happens if they do a chapter each. And it's so freaking good. I love the way they both write. I love all of G's books. And yes, this is so exciting to me. I can't wait. I got some gorgeous little jewellery pieces, the first one being from Astrid and Miu, and I'm not the type of person that really changes up my earrings very often unless I've got like an event. And I've been wearing kind of these hooped ones for quite a while, so yeah, mum said she wanted to get me some kind of fresh ones to change up my ears. I don't know, I just put things in and I'm like, cool, that looks good, let's leave it, and I'm happy with it. So yeah, this is the cute little pair of earrings I got. They're gold and they're kind of like huggy size. So these are gorgeous. I love really kind of dainty like jewelry in my ears. I put these hoops in at the moment because the ones that I had kind of went not rusty, but they started to go like black because I wear them in the shower and things. So I got rid of them and I popped these like nicer ones in. These are, I think are Missima hoops. So yeah, she got me some different hoops to switch out. And I just, I feel my point, I feel they're slightly large. So yeah, she got me some smaller ones. And then talking of Missima, I got a lovely jewelry piece from there. I got a beautiful bracelet. So my jewelry mainly is gold. I have my Pandora bracelet that I love and I really wanted to be able to start stacking. So mum got me this bracelet. Let me, I say mum, mum and dad, but we all know who buys the presents and it's definitely not my dad. Actually, I'm not gonna be able to put this on myself, but it's almost like, you know, like a paperclip style bracelet. You know, when you put them all together, that kind of vibe, but gold. Yeah, and I just love the fact that I'm gonna be able to layer this up. So yeah, I love this. I think this is absolutely beautiful. And Miss jewelry is really nice. Like all my jewelry is Astrid Miu or Missima or Pandora and they kind of they age so well I definitely say out of the three Pandora and Missima are the ones that wear the best like I've never had any of like my Missima jewelry go bad and I wear it all in the shower and everything like that but my Astrid Miu hoops some of them have definitely got worn out which is such a shame but what I think I'm gonna do with these ones is coat them in something so they don't like can I paint them in like clear nail polish or is that gross but do you know what i mean like a sealant of some sort i'm gonna have a look into it before i put them in and finally we have my main present this is probably a very random main present to a lot of you but i was very excited about this and it is a dressing gown this is the dressing gown from the edition hotel and a lot of hotels you can purchase their robes on their website but it's just something i've never really thought to do i have a beautiful ugg dressing gown and things but what i find with dressing gowns because i'm quite like a a tall person and like quite long arms or whatever they're not very cozy they're very large so i wanted to get one that wasn't necessarily gendered because i wanted it to be big and cozy and i found this and i've stayed at edition hotels and i know their dressing gowns are just beautiful so yes this is basically like wearing a duvet and my mum was like she didn't get really why i wanted it but she said she's like i just bought it and yeah now she's like seen it and she put it on she's like emily like i understand now this is massive it's like wearing a full-on duvet the hood is even lined with the fluff that the rest of the dressing gown is lined with and it is the biggest warmest hug in a dressing gown ever and i am just over the moon i was gonna leave it in the packet and you know like save it but i was like no i want to wear this and it is everything i would hope to be and more it is identical to the ones that you get in the hotel and 
yeah, I couldn't be happier. So those are all my gifts and I've just majorly messed up my hair by doing that. But I can't believe it, honestly. So I hope you've had a lovely Christmas morning so far, whatever your circumstances. I hope you are taking some time for self-care. Like I said, my other Christmas videos will be up tomorrow. My Christmas Eve vlog will be up today on my vlog channel and then this video I will be on my main channel and then tomorrow we have my sister present swaps with my little sister Sophie and that's set to be interesting so I hope you're excited for that but thank you so much for joining me for another year please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you well tomorrow for the present swap bye I'm going to eat my food now <laughs>